All right, kids, Lance Sosi is a descendant of the Navajo people and a content creator who uses his platform to advocate for indigenous people and for sacred land in America. Known as Modern Warrior on social media, when addressing blatant racism he sees online, he is met with harassment, trolling, and even death threats, usually from the demographic majority of this country, and he always responds to each of them the exact same way. Hey, colonizer. Hey, colonizer. Hey, colonizer. All of that is really gross. Today, we're going to talk about the term colonizer, and we're going to narrow in on what it means and if it's a racial slur. Because for one reason or another, a number of European Americans in this country don't like to be called colonizers. Before I continue, I would like to point out that it is currently the middle of November, Indigenous Peoples Month. This day is sandwiched between Thanksgiving and a few weeks from now, and Columbus Day a few weeks ago. Both holidays involved a lot of lies about European settlers and natives. Anyways, ever since 1492, when Columbus sailed to Ocean Blue and got lost and never set foot on this land, BIPOC people of this land have referred to the artists who formerly wanted to be known as Caucasian in various ways, including, but not limited to, Honky. In an encyclopedia of swearing, Jeffrey Hughes says that Honky is derived from Hunky and Hun, which he calls diminutive and contemptuous forms of Hungarian, both words being originally applied to a person of Eastern European ancestry, especially a Hungarian or Slav, and often a manual laborer. There's Cracker. This started out as a character trait that was used to describe a group of Celtic immigrants, Scots, Irish people, who came to the Americas who were running from political circumstances in the old world. It was meant to mean an unruly and ill-mannered person. Although BIPOC people use these terms, they both were created by white people in order to describe different variants of white people. And we don't use such language. Besides, Here's another term that isn't well received by white people. White people. To colonize means what you think it means. To send a group of settlers to a place and establish political control over it. But the colonizing definition mentions appropriating a place or domain for one's own use. More on this later. Calling white people colonizer became popular after Shuri said it in Black Panther. Some have softened its intensity by putting an A at the end instead of that hard ER. Either way, a typical reply to being called a colonizer ranges from equating that term to the N-word, what in the false equivalent? To you hearing stuff usually somewhere along the lines of, I'm not a colonizer or no one colonizes anymore. One would have to never look at a map of the U.S. colonies, I mean, territories, in order to say something like that. But Manifest Destiny was and is colonizing. When expanding westward, Buffalo Bill earned his nickname because in one 18-month stretch, he claimed to have killed 4,200 plus buffalo, strictly to harm natives who relied on buffalo for food and clothing, amongst other things. Eminent domain can be a kind of colonizing. Seneca Village. By 1855, the village consisted of around 225 residents, made up of roughly two-thirds African Americans. The city of New York acquired the land through eminent domain, a law that allows the government to take private land for public use with compensation paid to the landowner. All residents had to leave by the end of 1857. Many were displaced in order to create Central Park. We've talked about colonizing Martin Luther King Jr.'s quote, one stanza from one speech, you know which one it is, being hijacked to push for colorblindness and being individuals, neglecting to admit that MLK later said his dream became a nightmare. Well, Malcolm X has a quote being appropriated too. The white liberal versus white conservative analogy, the fox and the wolf. He's saying both are dangerous and deadly. One is just more obvious than the other. Intellectual property. Ideas and inventions being stolen from black people or simply no credit given or money's not being paid out for them. An example is Lonnie Johnson, inventor of the Super Soaker. He sued Hasbro for breach of contract and violating agreements. He was eventually awarded almost $73 million. Gentrification is obviously colonizing black people's and poor people's neighborhoods. I shouldn't have to explain that. And cultural appropriation is colonizing. As I mentioned earlier, it's literally in the definition, modern day colonizing. Being from and living in and loving a city named after this colonizer, Christopher Columbus, I note when people exalt him and tell us that we shouldn't judge him by today's morality, even though he was chained up and tried for his crimes against the Taino people by the king and queen of Spain, 
all people. I mean, they did the Spanish Inquisition. Furthermore, Columbus was stripped of his titles and was no longer governor of the not Asian countries he didn't discover. Everything he did was immoral in his time. Part of the colonizer playbook is dehumanizing people, prioritizing property, changing the narrative, and telling the story from the vantage point of the victor. Is colonizer an insult? Sure. Derogatory term? Yes. Slur? No. It's not that white people past or present aren't colonizers either. They are. They know they are. But they rather call themselves conquerors. We're not going to call them either of those words, by the way. These white people who claim to be conquerors see their mere presence in any society as the standard, civilizing the world over, taming savages who engaged in pagan rituals and were cannibals. Then they make another movie in order to admire Jeffrey Dahmer. So, using stereotypes about indigenous people and making caricatures of their features, plus boasting about the genocidal fate suffered by the natives, this is the stuff that modern warrior contends with daily. I don't know Lance personally, but I can confidently say that he isn't calling all white people colonizers, only the racist ones. But I'm afraid a number of them think being called a racist is just as bad as racism itself. We're gonna be all right.